Hello everyone. Uh, wanted, I hope you are well. I wanted to put a preview for the India Afghanistan match uh, that will be played on the 20th of uh, June at Barbados, uh, Bridgetown, uh, West Indies. And uh, it will be a new venue for India. And it will be a very crucial match for India, I guess, uh, because there are three matches in the Super Rates. India will be playing Australia, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan. And two wins uh, would be important to get to the semi-finals I believe and the Australia match will always be doubtful and uh, a big match so India will have to beat Afghanistan and Bangladesh and Afghanistan have been playing very good uh, cricket in this World Cup they got a hammering yesterday from West Indies West Indies scoring 218 and Afghanistan uh, bowled out for 114 and uh, Farooqi the Afghanistan left armor who has who was the highest wicket taker of this World Cup when I last checked uh, he went for a lot of runs against the West Indies and West Indies were 85 in 5 overs so West Indies showing their strength as well and I had predicted before the preview of, of the first preview of the World Cup that uh, West Indies will be one of the semi-final spots uh, probably and uh, there are some other big ma matches as well South Africa are playing America today tomorrow evening and uh, uh, West Indies England will also be a big match and I think West Indies have the edge there they've been playing really good cricket and they've got a very good balance team a lot of good uh, power hitters and some very good batsmen especially Akil Hussain who I was so impressed uh, last time as well as left armers bowls uh, very uh, well and uh, uses a lot of intelligence uh, when he bowls and in between the Euro has uh, given some surprises Romania beating Ukraine uh, was an upset and definitely a huge upset uh, Slovakia beating Belgium Belgium has a very good team but even in the last World Cup they underperformed and France uh, narrowly narrowly beating uh, Austria 1-0 and today there is a Portugal Czech match as well anyway coming back to the uh, India Afghanistan match Afghanistan has never beaten India in a World Cup and if there was a time then Afghanistan would beat India probably this would be the time for them uh, I'm not saying they are going to win but the way they have been playing uh, the left arm bowler taking a lot of wickets as spinners and the uh, top order as well and India haven't been looking very good in this World Cup so far some scratchy performances if Afghanistan are on the top of the game and if India have a slight let down I think India will find it very difficult against Afghanistan but the pitch will be very important and if it was in a American pitch a New York pitch Afghanistan would have hold the aces but being played in a Barbados a bridge town where Australia last time got a 200 against England and the batting is relatively much easier compared to the normal USA pitches that will be a very interesting part of the match uh, how to see uh, the pitch and how it plays uh, Afghanistan obviously Farooqi is there the left armor then Rashid Khan, Mohamed Gambi then Noor Ahmed that I've been talking a lot about and the openers uh, Zadran and openers have been uh, clicking well a uh, few, few matches and uh, the op opening partnership will be very important for Afghanistan if they can put a decent opening partnership then they will think they can score uh, good enough and uh, put pressure on India it depends who, who bats first but if Afghanistan can score uh, bat first and if they score something around 160 provided the pitch is a bit batting friendly 160 70 then uh, the match would be very interesting or if India bow bats uh, well, first I don't know if uh, uh, Farooqi can get a few early wickets and put India under pressure then it will be a very interesting game I don't know I, I hope I think I'm not hope I think India will probably go with the same team, which I'm not happy with. They're not, you know, Kuldeep or not Shehel. But let's see if uh, it will be exposed, Aksar and Siraj. And Afghanistan, even though they had a bad game against West Indies, I mean, that can be seen in two lights. Uh, one, they had a bad game, but the other side of it, they can say that, okay, they had one bad game and it's out of the way. And it came in, an, uh, in not a very important match where they are already qualified for the Super Sixers. So Afghanistan would rather have a bad game in that West Indies match than in the Super Sixers. Like I said, with Australia in the group, all the other three teams uh, would be eyeing to uh, defeat each other because uh, two wins uh, you would normally think would be important to get into the semi-finals. So both the matches, Bangladesh and Afghanistan, are very important matches for India. Now, Bangladesh, I didn't expect much from them before the World Cup, but on these uh, slow kind of uh, pitches, uh, they've been really bowling well. The spinners have been bowling well and some good batting as well in between. Even though the batting against Nepal was senseless and lost a lot of wickets, but they did get to a decent total. And the last two uh, batsmen, the last two pairs, uh, scored 31 runs and they got 206 uh, from 75 for 8. And they beat Nepal. And Mustafizur Rahman has been excellent in this World Cup. His economy rate, I think, is the best uh, for anyone in uh, death overs. 
and obviously he has got a lot of variety he changes pace uh, and even the slow bounce uh, Mustafi Zul will be very important uh, but uh, the pitches uh, will be important how they play uh, probably it will be more batting friendly in this uh, super 8 uh, uh, phase so that will also be an important uh, South, South Africa USA I would expect South Africa to win I mean America have been playing very good cricket but South Africa's uh, pace attack might be too much for USA to handle that's what I think uh, and Nokia Rabada Janssen, the extra pace might be a problem for USA, that's what I think. And West Indies, England, I definitely think uh, West Indies have the edge. So anyway, India, Afghanistan, I mean, uh, India, I mean, Kohli obviously has got no runs in this World Cup. Uh, Virat Kohli has uh, had a very few, has a few bad scores in this World Cup, a golden duck as well against America. And uh, Rohit Sharma hasn't been getting runs. Uh, okay, Shivam Dubey and... Suryo Mar got some runs and uh, Bumra has been bowling very well. Ashdeep uh, the other day he took uh, four, four, four wickets I think against uh, US uh, and uh, he has been bowling very well. And uh, Aksar uh, doing okay but let's see how he goes against the bigger teams in the Super 6 stage and Suraj as well. But Ashdeep, uh, Bumra and uh, Jadeja have been very good for India so far, especially the fast bowlers Bumra and Ashdeep. But let's see how everyone plays uh, when the pitch changes and it will be a big more adapt uh, something to adapt for india as well because uh, West, uh, afghanistan have played a, a match or two in west indies so at least they even though this is not the same pitch uh, they have kind of get you got used to the west indian conditions india have been uh, playing all their matches in the uh, usa so it will be a change of uh, venue for india big time and let's see how india uh, come up against afghanistan uh, on a new pitch in a, in a new stadium so it will be very important uh, how india bat against the afghanistan spinners and uh, also about faruqi i've always been saying india has a weakness against left arm pacers and faruqi except the match against west indies have been go have been having an excellent world cup i think he took 12 wickets and he was at the top of the wicket table when i last checked and india will definitely be tested by faruqi who is a uh, very skilled so Rohit sharma and virat kohli at the top will be important how they play against the left arm and then the spinners i don't know if india will make any change now probably not because it's probably too late if they will bring uh, maybe jay swal or sanju samson i don't know but uh, probably india are going to go with the same team but india had a lot of luck in the first group stages winning against pakistan and america so i don't know if it's going to still work like that against afghanistan i do ref definitely think uh, afghanistan have a very big chance uh, to beat india if they really bring the a game if they have a dull performance, they're not going to beat India. But if Afghanistan have a very good uh, game and India have a slight sh shady game, Afghanistan will beat India. That's what I think. But I'm not going to make an outright prediction. I want India to win. But uh, I just feel that Afghanistan is uh, very dangerous. And the stage is set for them to make a big upset. They have never beaten India. And they would love to beat India and go to the semi-finals. In the World Cup, they have never been to a semi-final, so that stage. So if they can beat India tomorrow, they'll be very confident they can beat, not tomorrow, 20th June. They'll be confident they can beat Bangladesh as well, which means the semi-finals of the World Cup. Uh, that will be a huge uh, motivation thing for Afghanistan. They have never obviously been in the semi-finals of a World Cup. And the way they have been playing the last 50 over World Cup and recent, recently, I do think that Afghanistan deserves to be in the semi-finals of a World Cup, but let's see first they have to get a good game against India. Uh, like I said, India will have to bring the A game as always and India have had a lot of uh, un uh, boxes uh, unticked. Uh, the opening slot has been a problem, no runs. Uh, the bowling has uh, been okay, but on these pitches uh, it can be understood. But let's see how everything works out on a different pitch uh, where probably batting is more easier. The Afghanistan uh, Faruqi and the Afghanistan spinners will definitely be confident against India. No Rama, this is a difficult uh, customer to handle with this uh, left arm Chinaman. And Rashid Khan, obviously, such an experienced bowler. Nabi also there. Then Nabi Nulak is also there. So it will be a very strong test for India, I think. And let's see how India plays. Uh, because if India somehow lose to Afghanistan, then India will be under huge pressure against uh, Bangladesh and Australia. I mean, you don't need extra pressure playing Australia because it's already a big test and a challenge in itself. So that is my video on the uh, India-Afghanistan preview. Hope you, have, hope you have enjoyed this uh, video. Please take care and enjoy the Euro as well. Portugal, Czech uh, playing today and some big upsets uh, happening in the Euro. And the first day, Germany and Scotland was 4-1. The second day was also a high-scoring match, but the third day was a very low-scoring match. Uh, today, Turkey is also playing Georgia. 
So let's see what happens at the Euro. And uh, that is my preview about the India-Afghanistan uh, match at the Super 8s on this World Cup. Uh, take care, everyone. God bless you.